I've owed you guys this haul for a while. It's been a bit. I am gonna be sharing with you today all the stuff that I bought during Black Friday. I am a sale shopper. I love getting a deal. I love saving money. And so Black Friday to me is definitely a time where I ball out usually every year. And I feel like this might be my biggest haul yet. This might be my biggest Black Friday haul yet. Although I'm not hauling it near Black Friday. So I've been using this stuff. I definitely have some thoughts. It's kind of a two for one. I'm hauling it, but I'm also gonna let you know what I think of this stuff. Was it worth it? Was it a regret? All of that goodness. I want to just get into it because it is a lot of stuff, but I would say that I hit up like three to four main places. I had some brands on my list that I was wanting to try. So I had Moira on my list. I had Victoria Beckham Beauty on my list. I also decided to get some stuff from Dose of Colors and then kind of at the last minute, Viziart came in and like stole the show. You guys, my gosh. Okay. Those are like the main places where I made quite big orders. So let's start with Moira. I did a video kind of showing this stuff in details. If you want swatches you want to know all the texture definitely check that video out I will have it linked down below one of the biggest things I knew that I wanted to pick up from Moira were the cream blushes specifically though the love heat cream blushes you probably heard me talk your ear off at this point about these but I love them they are a true dupe to me of the tower 28 cream blushes I have magic hour from tower 28 and these are very similar in packaging in texture they have tons of different colors and they're just such a great cream formula I find them to be a nice pigmentation they're not sheer but they're not like overly overly pigmented the formula on them is also very creamy it has a little bit of a sheen coming from the formula not any sparkle just from the actual formulation of the product and I find they last all day I really love using these the most as like a base kind of cream blush to put other blushes on top of toward the end of my makeup look I really like layering products or kind of sandwiching them together to get a little bit more longevity and also just kind of touch up it's easier to touch up a powder toward the end of a look than a cream but these truly have been so great I have like all the colors I picked up so many of them you guys I've recently though really been loving I adore you this one is so pretty I can't wait to wear it even more during spring and summer I feel like for spring and summer I really go more lips and cheek focused and let my eyeshadow be a little bit more minimal maybe just some sparkles going on and then I let the cheeks and lip kind of shine and be the pop of color and this one is just stunning I really really love that I used it in one of my more recent videos I'm telling you if you've seen the videos I've been posting basically since Black Friday I've definitely been using these I respect you I believe is the one that I had originally and I do think this one's very close to magic hour a nice more neutral color I have used nice for more of a mauve it goes a little more cool tone they're just great I'm telling you if you're looking for a cream blush Moira has an amazing formula I really think you should check these out with that the other thing I really knew I wanted to try out from Moira were the new at the time star show shadow pots these these are that kind of semi-pressed. I mean, these are pretty pressed, but they have a little stopper in them, uh, shadow pots and they are stunning, you guys. They are so, so pretty. I didn't end up picking up every single one. I had a little bit more control than that, but I did pick up like nine of them. I picked up a lot of them. They were so great. These are like a semi-sheer formula with lots of sparkle. I really love that about them. They are very like in your face. They reflect a lot of light. And those are the shadows that I tend to enjoy. They have some really nice neutral colors. They have a beautiful rose gold. They have this really nice taupe called Eureka that I enjoy. And then they do have a few slight duochromatic shadows as well and I just think they are stunning so if you love that shimmer on the lid these can be used alone but I also really like them just on the lid with a little outer corner color too so very great shadows really love those ones no regrets I don't think I'm going to pick up more at this moment just because I don't need any more colors right now but they are great shadows and Moira is more affordable which is one of the reasons I was really excited to try them out I love my expensive brands and you will see that in a second but I also love finding amazing products at a great price so the star show shadow pots if you were wondering about them are really great really glad i picked those up moira has another single shadow item on their website and i'd already picked up a few of these and i just bought some more colors these are the lucent cream shadows and they remind me a lot of the super shock so they're not exact but they are definitely similar they're cream and kind of putty but they aren't like a wet cream and they're a little bit more on the dry side although again they do have a little bit of that 
that putty texture. These are really pretty. I really love some of the more neutral shades I picked up. So I decided to try a few more of the fun ones. I was so excited to try this electric lime green and it looks so good. It worked so well in the inner corner and it worked great with a brush, which I was really happy with. They're just another great product from Moira. I don't think you need tons of colors. I would pick your favorites and just kind of leave it at that. But if you like the one and done type shadows from ColourPop in the Super Shocks, these might be something to look into. They're really quite great. I will say though, unfortunately, I was not being super diligent about the colors I was picking out and I did end up buying two shades I already had. Like they looked so pretty, I bought them twice. So that was unfortunate. But other than that, very happy with those as well. Now I did buy some stuff from Moira I did not like. And I'm the type of person that kind of goes in, especially when there's a good sale going on, you know, I will just, let's try it all. Let's see, let's go, you know? And sometimes that works out really great because then I have a lot of a product I really enjoy. And other times it's not good because I end up not liking the product. So I love me a good lip liner. And so I decided to pick up a lot of different neutral shades from Moira in their lip liners. There's two different formulas here. I have the signature lip pencils and then I also have the must have lip pencils. And I just don't like either of these to be honest. They have a good selection of shades, but just formula wise, it's not my favorite. It's not the worst ever, don't get me wrong. I think it's still workable and usable, but I just have so many other lip liners I really enjoy. And even some at a more affordable price point that I enjoy. So these ones to me, I would skip out on. If I could go back in time, I would not purchase these, you know. These aren't the ones. <laughs> They're probably all gonna go at some point. And then the other basically bust are the cream shadow sticks. I'm a sucker for a cream shadow stick. I really love them as bases for my eye looks, whether I'm using something that's more similar to my skin tone or using something with a little bit of shimmer or even using a darker color on the outer corner or a chunky pencil on the lower lash line as a liner. I love all of that. But this formula is pretty dry. I, uh, I find when I put these on, they tug a little bit. They're just a drier stick. And then when I try to blend them out, they're just tugging. They feel kind of grippy, which can be good for longevity, but you need to be able to blend them out. You know, you want them to last a long time, but like if you can't blend them out, what's the point? So I just don't find that they're that good. I found the one that I used the most was Coco Days. It's a beautiful color. It's a nice like coolish bronze shade with a little bit of a sheen. And I loved using this before any of the looks I was gonna do, especially one shadow looks and I can blend it's not impossible to blend out it's just not ideal and I I know there are better shadow sticks at different price points same price point I like the elf ones I don't find I have an issue like that with them so I just wouldn't pick any of these up and if you had to you're like no I'm gonna buy one Coco Days is the color I suggest I do think this is really pretty also on the lower lash line but I have a lot of like matte ones here and just other ones that I just don't feel like I'm gonna get a ton of use out of just because I don't prefer the formula compared to other shadow sticks I have in my collection. And don't get me wrong, like some of the ones I really love, the Laura Mercier, the Bobbi Brown ones, those are so expensive. They're like 32 a piece and these are more, I think at the $8 mark. But even with that, I would still suggest like getting a point perk or again, the e.l.f. ones, those are $5. And I find that they're more similar to those higher end shadow sticks. So I would skip out on the shadow sticks, skip out on the lip liners. But definitely get in on the cream blushes and those shadow pots, the single shadow lucent cream ones, those are all really, really good. Completely switching it up, let's move on to Victoria Beckham Beauty. And I recently just did a video sharing my thoughts about some of the products. So this will hopefully not be too annoying to hear them again. But unfortunately, I was really disappointed with a lot of what I tried from Victoria Beckham Beauty. I think there's a few factors. I think one, I had high expectations, okay? It's an expensive, luxury beauty brand. I've heard some really great things and I've had them on my list for a long time. So there was just a lot of anticipation going in and that can always set you up for failure. And I think that's partially what happened here. The biggest thing I was excited, look at this, look at the stack, you guys, this money. <laughs> um, this is so expensive, but I was the most excited to try the lid lusters. I hear so many good things about the lid lusters and I really wanted to try the shade mink specifically. It's like this beautiful, beautiful minky bronzy taupe color. Ooh, I love that. I wanted to try that. I got tea rose. I got the shades chiffon. I got honey and I got velvet. So lots of different colors to try. I wanted to make sure I didn't just get mink because it did look a little dark on the website. And that was one of the problems I had with mink specifically just for my skin tone and what I do every day. It is a little bit dark in that video where I'm testing these. I do a look with this and it's beautiful. It does look a little bit better. I feel like on camera 
camera because there's something about the way dark eyeshadow looks really pop on camera whereas in real life you know they look a little more <sighs> weathered they just look a little different in real life you know what i mean so mink unfortunately was a bust for me i also just feel like with this formula they're really hard pressed in here so these are a very similar kind of container to the star shadow pots from moira that i already showed but they are pressed in here quite hard and i also find that they don't have a sheerness they usually need to be built up to that full opacity and then blend it out just a little bit on the edges and that just doesn't work with my style as much also so unfortunately they just didn't work for me you guys i love the packaging though i mentioned this in that video but for a luxury brand for being very expensive products i think these are like 32 or 34 dollars a piece whereas again the moira ones which i actually just prefer formula wise are eight so yeah i will say the packaging feels heavy it feels weighted it has this like tortoise shell look it's definitely giving you a luxe feeling and experience in packaging and i think that's very important if you're going to spend the money and it is a luxury brand so i love that about victoria beckham but i just don't love the products unfortunately and i'm down i'm you know as i get older and i'm like you know my tastes are changing i kind of understand like the subtlety of some makeup i don't even mind getting really subtle makeup or you know not like the most special makeup up, even if it's expensive if it works well makes me feel good all that I will really I'll like it you know even if it's a lot of money but I just did not get on with these these are so different from even something like you know the Chantecaille baked shadows I really love those but these aren't like you know it's just that stickier thicker um full pigment kind of formula and that's just not my preferred thing you know so those are a bust my favorite item giving you a spoiler here at the beginning i did really like the lip liner this is in the shade 02 it's a beautiful just like nice neutral lots of brown to it i like the formula of it it does have a nice lasting power on it i mentioned this in that video i don't like love the way the caps are on the victoria beckham they do have a nice seal to them but they kind of like wiggle within that seal and they just kind of make noises. It's so petty. It's a very petty thing, but I'm just trying to let you know, like it's just something I don't expect to not like, but I don't enjoy about the packaging, but love this pencil. If you're gonna like look into something from Victoria Beckham Beauty, I really did love the lip liner. It's very good. I also did really like the blush stick. This one is in the shade mini skirt, which is beautiful love this like deeper berry it really shears out nicely though so i can kind of build it up however i want again we have really great packaging on it so this one was a win but i also do have a lot of cream blushes i really enjoy so i feel like if you're really just looking for something specifically from victoria beckham this one's good but it's not like it stands out necessarily amongst some really great cream blushes i already have in my collection but still a really nice product the other really big thing i was wanting to try from Victoria Beckham were the eyeliners. I've heard a lot of great things about the eye cajols and I wanted to dry them out so bad. I love a sharpenable pencil eyeliner. That's like my favorite way to go. I really don't mess around with liquids anymore. I really don't even do wings in the traditional like, you know, liquid liner wing sense. I will like use shadow or smudge some stuff, but I can do all of that with these types of products. And so that's what I stick to. I also like that you can really repurpose them. You can tight line, you can use them as cream bases and all that and I will say as cream bases these definitely work a little bit better I did that recently with the ash gray shade and I did like the way that that looked but these are very creamy they do set down they do have some lasting power but I don't feel like that's as much as like other people say I don't know they're just so I actually find them really really creamy and they're also really pigmented so a little bit goes a long way a little bit goes a long way ash gray I need like a dot on my lower lash line and then I blend and smudge that out which luckily it does have a smudger on the other end which comes in handy but um yeah they just are very pigmented and I just find them because of that that's great that can be a really positive thing but for every day for me it's sometimes nice to have products that are just that perfect level of pigmentation that you want every day that works with your skin tone all of that and these are just a little bit deeper and a little bit more than that so I'm not getting as much use out of them as I thought. Sea Gray is a really beautiful nice metallic silver color. I do really like them. The colors are beautiful. I just, 
I, I really thought it was gonna be like love at first sight with these. I thought I was like, these are gonna be my new favorite, but I just find all of them skew a little bit darker than I'd like. And again, I just have to be a little bit more fussy about how I use them. And it's just not as fun of a process for every day for me, which kind of sucks because those are again, kind of expensive. I think they're at that higher $20 price point. One of the last things here from Victoria Beckham, I did pick up another eyeliner. This one's in a different formula though. And it's like that cream waterline kind of brightening shade. This works pretty well. It's like the only one really in my collection that I have so I'm gonna keep using it and all that but definitely not like the best like not the creamiest to go on your waterline it's fine it works you know I, not really complaints but I'm not wowed and last I believe this was a free gift with purchase this is just the clear gloss and beautiful packaging again that tortoise shell nice and weighted and heavy I really like the formula of this lip gloss it's just clear I mean it's just a clear gloss but it looks great it feels great using it feels nice I do like that like there is something so nice about using an expensive lip product and just like I don't know, I love it, I really love that. So this gives all of that. But I will say just the nature of any clear gloss in a clear thing like this, like this has no sparkle, no shimmer, nothing to hide how gross it gets if you layer this on top of stuff. Um, so if you're putting it on your bare lips, it's probably gonna look great. But if you even layer this with anything, like it's already getting cloudy in there. <laughs> um, just kind of looks a little nasty, kind of takes away from all the beautiful packaging. But overall, that's my experience with the Victoria Beckham stuff. Really unfortunate that these lid lusters don't work for me. I wanted them to so badly. I even recently, uh, you know, even since I filmed that video, I was like, I'm gonna put honey on my lids. Like I'm gonna wear, it's gonna look great. No, oh, it, didn't, it didn't fucking look good. I was like, why? I will still keep an eye out for new stuff, but yeah, it's just not the brand for me, I don't think. I, I don't know, at least at this point, love the marketing, love everything about it, literally want to be a stan. I want to, but I cannot. <laughs> You know, I can't. All right, I guess I'm gonna save Viseart for last since that was kind of how it got ordered. So let's talk about Dose of Colors. I wasn't gonna order from Dose of Colors, but they were just having such great deals. I decided to get a few of the liquid lipsticks. I was replacing some colors that I felt like were just getting a little bit old, but I also got a few new shades. So I picked up the shade Mondays, which is beautiful. This is like a really nice 90s nude brown kind of mauve lipstick on me love this I love the dose of colors liquid lipstick formula my lips always just look so full and big and plump and just like in charge and like just mm, everything I want my lips to look like and I feel insecure about them not looking like whenever I wear the dose of colors liquid lipsticks they always look how I want them to I'm like did I get lip injections in the middle of the night and I didn't know because damn these look fucking good seriously they're my favorite okay uh, I also got the shade heartbreaker which is a little bit of a lighter nude shade I got the shade campfire which is a beautiful like dusty coral I re-upped on kiss of fire which is this beautiful red it has this like pink undertone to it I had it in the old packaging so I knew it was old I also knew I got that from BoxyCharm like years and years and years ago so I just thought I would get ahead of like it turning like it honestly still smelled pretty good but in my I knew I knew how old that shit was you know what I mean I was like it's gotta go so I re-upped on that and I also re-upped on Rosebud which is a beautiful really cool tone kind of grayish mauve pink color this always makes my teeth look so yellow unfortunately but it's a beautiful beautiful color so I love these I I just stick to these for liquid lipsticks like those dry down classic liquid lipsticks that don't transfer stay put these were the go-to back then for everyone and I just feel like they stand the test of time there are some liquid lipstick formulas I go back to and go what the heck were we thinking these are so drying but I find that these are that perfect amount like of course they're gonna dry a little bit because they're a dry you know liquid lipstick but if you just put these on bare lips with nothing else on to like you know mess with the formula because these do lock down and I find sometimes when I use products with it it kind of messes with that lockdown, you know, ability. Um, these will stay all night and I can just enjoy my beautiful lips, you know, and they don't make me feel like I need an IV for hydration afterward. With those, I decided to pick up a bunch of sponges. So this is more of like a, a true thinking ahead for my future purchase. I really love the Dose of Color sponges. This is probably my favorite one, the Pen Point. Um, it's just like a big old marshmallow with a pointed tip. I have gotten PR from Dose of Colors in the past and that 
that's how I got to try these sponges. I probably would have never tried them otherwise. And they're just good, man. And on Black Friday, they were $5 a piece. So I got like two of each one and basically was like, those are the sponges I'm gonna use all into next year. So I'm really happy I picked those up. And then their free gift with purchase, so these I didn't necessarily purchase, were a trio of their Block Party eyeshadows. And I really have wanted to try these now that I'm into single shadows and everything and I love sparkly stuff. I've heard really great things and these kind of have that sparkle going on, but I'm not convinced. I'm not gonna, I'm not convinced. I don't know if I love these. I also have another one that I thought I would show here. It came with BoxyCharm stuff, but one of the shades is called Slinky. This is more of a, a silver, but it has that kind of like green gray thing going on. Lots of sparkle in it. This one is one of the most promising. It has more of that kind of like flakiness going on. I got the shade Lock and Key. This is really quite dark. It's a chocolatey color with some gold sparkle in it. And I think that's really what all these, like they're all very dark shades. So I'm gonna have to be going smoky if I wanna wear them. And that's just not really my everyday. This next one's called Caffeine Queen. This is more of that taupey purple. So pretty, it has like this warmth coming through if you blend it out with like a silver sparkle on top. I need to give these a try, like swatching them, I'm like, they have to be good. So if I've worn these, it's like one or two times. So it's hard to remember at this very moment. And then last, the shade Encore is just a really dark, almost like burgundy brown. So you can tell here, I mean, these are like serious shadows. You're doing a smoke, yeah, you're doing the most. Like, you're going for it, at least on my skin tone. And so I just, you know, <laughs> haven't had the moments to wear them yet, but we'll see. And it was great to get them, you know, free in the bundle for Black Friday to try out because they were already on my list. I feel like I haven't been mentioning the deals for the liquid lipsticks. These are normally $20 a piece and they were half off, just half off. Usually they do buy one, get one free, but they were just 50% off, which was great. Like I said, the sponges were five. Those shadows were free. Moira was 30% off the entire site and then Victoria Beckham Beauty was 20% off and I think that's one of the best sales they do tell me if I'm wrong just a little break and kind of not disclaimer but I guess you know just saying that just because Black Friday is happening does not mean good deals are uh, you know happening I, I can tell you that right now some of these brands are offering you what they give you in the introduction email I'm like please like you got to step it up guys you got to step it up so I really try to focus on brands either I've never tried before that don't normally do discounts so 20% off is pretty good or I try to go with brands that do at least 30 you know 30 to me is like where where you should be at for sure anyway I kind of last minute decided to pick up the last remaining shadows I needed from the moon dust collection from urban decay I think these ended up being about $15 a piece and they retail on their own for like 22 so I picked up glitter rock which is a beautiful like pinky purple these are just stunning if you love a shimmery shadow these are like the types of shimmers I really enjoy. They're that semi sheer, really sparkly, almost like glittery wet shine look. I also picked up Cosmic, which is just a white with lots of reflect, very wet shine on this one. And then last, a classic, I picked up Solstice. I actually used to have Solstice in the old packaging and it just hard panned so easily. It'll be interesting to see if this one does, but man, I was like, you know, I'm gonna get it. These are just so pretty and I love a single shadow. I love traveling with the single shadow. There's just something about it, like picking out one shadow you really wanna focus on, finding another palette to kind of complement that and kind of put a look together is something I really enjoy. I just love makeup and eyeshadow, so um, yeah, I have these and now I have all five, which they have five in their permanent line. The last brand that I bought from, besides Viseart, I did pick up a few things from Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty does a sale, okay? They will get up to 80% off their items and I will say, you know, the stuff at 80% off and even 60% off, all that, you know what it's gonna be. It's the stuff that isn't as popular, but I'm not mad at that. Like they're still offering it 80% off. They know, <laughs> I love that. So they have a really great Black Friday deal. If you guys wanna know for the future, they really kill it. Even their perfumes go like 30% off. I think everything goes at least 30% off. So they do a great sale. I will say I was pretty proud of myself because I didn't want to just get things to get them. I was really trying to buy from brands again that I had on my radar. I was excited to try. I didn't just want to pick up things because they were 
cheap. I've done that in the past and that can be fun, but you know, I feel like those things end up just like, it doesn't matter that it was $2. You didn't really want it in the first place. So there was a lot of stuff I had to wade through on the Huda Beauty site. Like, bitch, you don't want this. You don't want this color block uh, nine pan eyeshadow palette. You didn't like it when it came out. You don't want it just because it's $7 now. So good job me for doing that, honestly. I'm proud of that because there were some, again, great deals over there for different Huda Beauty products. But for what I did pick up, there were two wins and two losers, <laughs> two bad products. So we'll sandwich. I'll do a bad and then two good and then another bad. <laughs> this lip mm, plumper, okay. I have been into the lip plumpers. I really like the Fenty one, the heat one. I got a little sample of that and I've been loving it. And then I've been also using a little sample of the Too Faced one, like the OG lip injection <laughs> Too Faced. And so I wanted to try out the Huda Beauty one. This is the Silk Balm in Spicy. I love the Silk Balm Normal, but this, the Spicy one was on a great deal. So I was like, oh my gosh, I've been loving lip plump. Let's try it. I love that formula. The formula's great. This has been... <laughs> spiced with like what feels like real like pep like truly peppers and so there's something about it when you put it on it does get you know hot it does kind of burn and plump your lips but there's almost something kind of savory going on it really feels like I put like peppers and I'm very sensitive to taste and just if something rubs me the wrong way in that I don't like it and so taste wise it's not even a taste I don't know how to explain it if you've tried this let me know your thoughts but it's weird it's just it's a bizarre kind of smell slash taste for the lip injection. And I just feel like there are other ones that do it better. So unfortunately I didn't like this product. The two I'm so glad I picked up and I didn't know if I would regret are from Glowish. That is like a offset brand of Huda Beauty. I picked up two of those swirly blushes that they have. So this one is in the shade Sassy Saffron love this so much and then i also got the shade berry juicy these are beautiful i love layering this on top of the cream blushes like i said those moira ones perfect these go so perfect on top they have the perfect amount of color i can build them up i can make them really intense but i just get a big fluffy brush and just kind of sweep it over at the end of my look and because it has a little bit of shimmer it just ah oh, it just Mm, adds the perfect amount. I love touching it up. It just punches in the blush look without being too much. They're just beautiful. So glad I picked them up. I think these were like in the $8 range or something when I bought them. And so I was like, you know, I've been wanting to try them. Let's try them. And they are really, really good. I haven't been able to put them down. They're like in my bathroom. And even when I do put them back in my drawer, when I'm doing my makeup and I'm like, oh, I need that little pop. I'll like go back into my drawers and pull them out just for them. So those have been a great buy. And and then the sandwich, the other product I did not like. I ended up picking up another glowish product. This is the Luminous Pressed Powder. This came out with the Luminous kind of skin tint that they did earlier last year. I actually bought that because I saw Robbie Beauty Christie using it and it looks so good on her skin, but it is a pretty product, but it is so glowy, okay? And I should have known from that product being so glowy that this powder was gonna be glowy as hell. And it just is, it really emphasizes my pores. It really shows like every little thing so um yeah this just doesn't work i've been really playing around with powder and just like more mattifying products which i've been loving glow you know glow has been popular the last couple years and i love how fresh that looks but i also am oily and also have large pores and so it's just kind of <sighs> as i get older my skin has like you know little wrinkles and all this stuff which is normal natural and fine i'm just needing to kind of adapt and change a little bit and so i thought oh, i'll try this powder maybe a little glowy powder it has the mattifying but a little bit of glow no 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 if you want your pores to look like craters when your oils pop through then this is the powder for you but otherwise don't i i don't like it maybe if you have dry skin and you're using it, it might be better for you but oily girls i would stay away from it i love the huda powder loose powder that one's really great all right and now that leads us into viseart okay i had had viseart on my radar and i saw that they were doing i think 30 or 40 it's probably 40 percent off and so like me being the extra person that i am can't just get a quad can't just get two palettes i have to get it's so hard how do i decide which palette i want so I went pretty ham. And between the two orders that I made, I know two orders, um, this is what I got. 
So we're gonna go through it. It's a lot. I'm gonna go through each color because I haven't really shown these as much in uh, totality. There isn't a video yet on these. At some point, I'm gonna do a ranking. I haven't used all of these, but I have used these palettes way more than you probably think like is possible in the two months on top of testing other products, using other things. I've really been loving the Viseart shadows. So the first order I made had tons of the quads and when I got it in the mail, I immediately was like, this is my new favorite eyeshadow brand. Like I, <laughs> I need it all. And I think something I really like about the Viseart shadows is that they're more like workhorse products. They're dependable, they're staples. They have some really nice mattes. The shimmers are also really beautiful. And the icing, oh, the icing on the cake. You can remove the pans. You can remove the pans. So not only did I get, you know, this beautiful quad and a ton of beautiful quads, but I can rearrange them to my liking as much as I want, which you guys know I love to do with my Natasha Denona shadows, with my single shadows. So. I I really felt like it was a brand that it just worked with so much. So anyway, this is one of the newer ones and the new collection that came out for holiday, that's really what also had me excited to try them. They had three quads come out and this I think was one of them. Oh no, this is the Lila's palette. It's a beautiful taupe one, a little bit light, but very beautiful. I'm telling you the shimmers, um, some of them are a little bit more sparkly than others. Some are just metallics, but just beautiful, beautiful. This is the Pesh Quad and it is just a peachy one. This is one I can't wait to do a look with for spring and summer. That is one, I'm gonna bust that one out for sure. This one is Chocolat. Uh, so pretty, nice and warm browns. I love the quads because I just love, I love a little four shadow color story. This one is the Amelie palette. Another really beautiful neutral one. I believe the ones with this kind of, uh, it almost looks, what is it? What's like the Great Gatsby? What is that period? I can't think of it right now. <laughs> I cannot think of it to save my life. Uh, but I, I think these quads with this packaging came out last year for holiday. This is Bullion, the nice dark matte. This one's Lila's De. It's like the second version of that more taupe shadow I showed first. This one has a little bit more of those purples going on. This green one's Peridot, oh, so pretty. Uh, this pink one's called Frambois, Framboise. Something like that. Is that like, I wanna say it's like strawberry. I think that might be what it is. This is Violetta. This is one of the holiday quads that I just had to get my hands on. Like this is so pretty. Oh, a stunning one. And then last for quads, this is Praline. So those are all the quads that I ended up getting. I didn't stop there though, because I was like, well, what, what else is there? I wanna try out some other things. I had seen some of the Etoile, I believe. I think that's like Star from like my new releases videos, but I had never really been into them. But once I saw those quads in real life, I was like, I think I am into those actually. So I got the San Francisco one, really beautiful. This one is the Paris, really cool toned. I did this really winged out, like super winged out smoky eye that I used this palette to create that. So pretty, so, so pretty. In a different format, same stuff. This is the Paris Edit palette. And this one is so beautiful. Oh, look at these pinky mauvey cool tones. Like I love it. And then the palette, that's probably my favorite out of all of these, maybe not out of the quads, but I've been getting the most use for sure out of Kashmiri. Cashmere is just so beautiful, okay? It's like a taupe lover's dream. There's so many beautiful shades in here to wear. I love it. And um, it definitely made Vizier on my radar. I'm telling you, whenever they come out with something next, I will most likely get it and try it. Like I am just so into the formula. It's very similar to me to Natasha Denona in a lot of ways, but I feel like I'm maybe a little bit beginner friendly, like a little less pigmented or maybe more buildable is the right word. I'm just really into it. I really am especially for like building blocks of looks, you know? Like I love my special shades, I love my special products. To me, the Viseart stuff is like workhorse and just like uh, great basics. So that is everything that I bought for Black Friday. A huge haul, lots of stuff. I've really been enjoying a lot of it. I'm pretty happy that most of it worked out. I wish more of the Victoria Beckham stuff did, but you live and you learn. I would have never known unless I tried it. So I'm glad I did. I'd love to know any of your guys' thoughts on these products. If you've tried them, let me know your review down below. Also, I know it's a little bit outside of Black Friday, but if you picked up some stuff from Black Friday, I'd love to know your thoughts now that it's been a few months. Like, are you happy with what you bought? Do you love it? Do you not? Do you wish that you bought something else? Like, let me know down below. Other than that though, thank you guys so much for being here and for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.